you want to hear my the full Dustin Natalie Golvis story because it is quite funny. Absolutely. I, yes, I know bits, of course. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's the whole thing. I, I don't think I, I do think with with fair warning, we should probably tell uh, the current Mrs. Dustin Johnson. Um, she might yeah, Paulina Skip had about three minutes, I think, yeah. maybe four. Um, <laughs> we'll we'll try and keep it tidy, but so. Whatever this this is like probably 2012 ish, you know, Dustin was clearly one of the best players in the world, but had not reached his potential yet. And, um, and so I went out to hang out with him in South Carolina. This was like probably October and he had a live in girlfriend and we went to some meals and we played with the dog and he seemed very settled and very happy. And, you know, that was part of the story. Like, Oh, Hey, Dustin's growing up. And, uh, little did we know. And so, um, now the story was conceived as, as like a master's preview, but that was, that was when dust, I could get some time with Dustin was in the, the off season as it were. And so, so now fast forward to Kapalua and I'm just standing out there in front of the clouds and Natalie Golbus walks by and I, I've known Natalie for years. And so I'm like, Hey, what are you doing? Um, cause it's a long way to be <laughs> on, you know, Thursday or Friday of, of, uh, the tournament week. And she's like, well, I'm kind of hanging out with Dustin. And she was all giggly about it. I was like, Oh really? Um, and she said, yeah, yeah, you know, we're kind of, it's like, I don't know what to call it. And um, I said, oh, you know, obviously this is like, this is, this is, the, this was peak Natalie Golvis, right? This is like, this is a big deal. And I, I said, well, can, can I, you want, I would like to write about this. He's like, well, I'll let Dustin handle our PR, which tells you how little she knew about Dustin because Dustin doesn't do PR, right? So anyway, um, so then she goes out and she walks a, she she walks the 18 holes watching him play golf and golf channel had her on camera but they didn't show it that that was like the sensibilities of the golf channel like they, they didn't want they didn't know what oh this is too this is too sexy so no natalie appeared so it's still a secret so i go down to catch dustin as he comes off of 18 and you've never seen anyone sign their scorecard and bolt up a hundred yard hill like dustin did because they hadn't seen each other so natalie's back at the hotel room dustin is like in a hurry to go see her right i'm like shit I, that was my chance to confirm it with dustin and he's literally like ran up the hill at like carl lewis in his prime it's like damn so but of course everyone's staying at the hotel i know where dustin is staying and kind of figured dustin might not have an assumed name you know a lot of people a lot of the players check in under different names to protect their privacy so i called the operator have there with dustin johnson please <laughs> after waiting like you know half an hour and so they oh yeah sure let me connect you so it's ringing and ringing i'm like god damn it and then dustin answers the phone he's like hello i'm like oh Hey, Dustin, it's Alan Shifnuck. I, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions real quick. Uh, I, I can't talk right now. Call me back in an hour. Click. I'm like, oh, God damn it. So so now I'm, I've got this, this problem because you can't hide, as discussed, you can't hide Natalie Golbus at this hotel where all the reporters are, the whole golf world. Like, it's all going to get out. And so um, I call him back in an hour. No answer. Uh, I'm like, well, someone's going to break this story. So you know, I sort of had Natalie's confirmation. I did some more snooping around, talked to other people. So anyway, this story goes up on golf.com. And of course, it goes crazy across the golf world, you know, because this is like a, a very, you know, appealing power couple in golf. Yeah. Natalie was a big, I mean, like, you know, Huge. was playing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she was the, for better or for worse, she was the biggest star on the LPGA back then, along with Annika, even though Annika had about 70 more victories. And, um, so now fast forward, Dustin is a defending champ at Pebble Beach and they fly him in for this media day in like February. And I haven't seen him since all this stuff happened. And meanwhile, Natalie has called me, her agents called me because things ended with Dustin abruptly. I don't, I don't know what it had to do with my story or not, but, and like Natalie's people wanted me to, to send out a, a, a tweet saying, well, Natalie's shown so much, you know, class through all of this. Unlike Dustin, I'm like, I'm not going to get in the middle of this, this lover's quarrel. Like she has her own Twitter. She can do it. Like I'm not, no. And so, so I, I know there's some energy around there. So I, I get Dustin after the press conference. I'm like, Hey man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blow up your spot. You know, it was just, I, I ran at Natalie, like it's, it's Kapalua. Everyone saw her, like someone had to write it. And he's like, oh man, that's cool. Whatever. I don't care. And um, so then if you recall after Dustin was blowing major championships at a furious pace, everyone's like, he hasn't, he just, nothing bothers him. Like, I was like, well, that's the proof. Like I, I may have cost him his romance with Natalie Golvis, probably the old girlfriend back in South Carolina. <laughs> and he was like, whatever, man, it's, it's no big deal. So that's always been some important insight to me into the Dustin Johnson psyche. I'll tell a really quick follow up on uh, on the, yes, uh, the Natalie Goldberg side of things. And Alan has heard the story before. Ryan probably has not. Um, playing golf with Trump, 
we're walking down a fairway. He's always got his phone out. And Trump calls uh, Natalie Golbus and says, uh, I read on page six that uh, that Ben Roethlisberger, is that pronunciation correct, Ryan? Yeah, sure, for Trump, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That Ben Roethlisberger, that's funny, that Ben Roethlisberger uh, broke up with you. I want you to call page six and tell him that's wrong. You broke up with Ben Roethlisberger. No one breaks up with you. You break up with them. I got thoughts in my head, can't get them out. Trying not to think what I'm thinking. 